Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Dominique, aka Mr. Kithano2, coming back at you for another video. So, basically, uh, today's day 18 out of 84 of my Army OCS experience. So, um, <clears throat> so I just want to talk to you guys. I know, like I said, yesterday might be my possibly my last video. So, what happened was I had a meeting with my cadre. I talked to one of the cadre um, here that um, he didn't tell me the actual uh, cadre here that it's actually pronounced cadre, but Forgive my, it's easier for me to say certain things different way. Call it a Virginia accent. I don't know. Um, the cadre member that actually saw the video, he wouldn't tell me who, I guess as a conflict of interest. But he said that um, they were just worried about me doing like what happened with the Marines. Are you guys familiar with what happened with the Marines? Um, when like, like a whole bunch of naked pictures got leaked on a Facebook page or something. And they were just worried about me leaking nudes i don't i don't really know um <clears throat> so uh of course i'm not gonna leak nudes he also said um something about the uh um uh, me throwing somebody under the bus i'd never do that i would never say horrible stuff about somebody on youtube especially publicly <laughs> i may i might say something bad about something that happened like oh man this sucked or that sucked this idea sucked but other than that um i don't think it was too bad um so that's what really happened i'm gonna be staying on youtube i'm gonna switch some things up i had to take some videos down though um it wasn't per se them but uh i had to make some corrections on certain things there's certain things i couldn't say so <laughs> Y'all notice I took the basic training video down. <laughs> I said what happened in basic training. Basic training was a bitch. Well, wasn't a bitch. Basic training, let me take that back. Basic training was uncomfortable. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> I'll have to redo that one. Uh, I took a couple of days off. You'll probably see, like, okay, why is he missing? There'll be blocks. Like, I think I took down day five, day like eight. And I don't know, maybe day 15. There's a couple days I took down because there was some iffy stuff in those. I haven't finished looking through all my videos. I took down how to get in shape for OCS because my shirt was off and I was just flailing around. <laughs> you know, I guess I can't. I have to uphold a certain standard, so I'm going to make sure I have a standard. But I like to be authentic and real. I like to give the truth. So I'm going to continue to do that to the best of my ability within my, round, my realms. I was told by my cadre member that there are no limits. Nothing in OCS is classified. So that means anything I do is okay. I should probably hold off on wearing the uniform in a video. Uh, I also took down what to say to a recruiter video. Uh, I probably can't put that video up. If somebody actually wants the unlisted link to the video, I can give you that and give you my opinion. But um, I took a couple of videos down. I'll redo the basic one. I won't redo the recruiter one. Um, there's probably a couple other ones. I, I'll do the how to get in shape for OCS at the end of OCS. So I'll redo that one. But yeah, there's a couple of videos I'll redo. So anyway, let me just get into how the day went. So the day went pretty good. Um, we got up. I got up about 3.30. Uh, was out of my room by about 4. I got up about, no, I got up about 3.55. I got up about 3.45. Was dressed at 4 o'clock, 4 a.m. Was downstairs at 4.30. Was stepping off for the ruck at um, <clears throat> 5 o'clock maybe we stepped off five o'clock maybe we stepped off at uh, ten um six miles 53 pound ruck if you were if you follow me on snapchat y'all know i got my stuff up there um so the ruck mark was good my feet hurt for the rest of the day i did i rocked my um my garma nfs's because y'all know in the first run i couldn't do it and i'm glad i rocked these because i had to run up and down the formation like y'all do know i have to run a lot because I'm the PAO or the assistant PAO, so I had to take pictures and stuff. There's one picture I, I put up of me and my boy um, at the end of the rut on there. Um, and so yeah, basically that was that's pretty much the day. We went to we went to class. We had a meeting with the CW05, a lieutenant, two lieutenant colonels that came and talked to us. You have a lot of things to happen. And then tomorrow, like, we're going to a museum tour. You do a lot when you're in OCS. This is one thing you got to keep in mind. You do a lot. Like, we're going to museum tours. We're doing volunteer work. Uh, we go do Habitat for Humanity. You do a lot of things while you're an officer. So 
Uh, just keep that in mind when you do get here if you are trying to come to OCS and everything. I'm sorry my voice is gone because I called Cadence again today and my voice just, I lose it. Cadence is pretty big at OCS. It makes you stand out. Um, and I tried to stand out. All right, anyway, so uh, again, thank you guys for all the support and all the appreciation, all the support uh, for everything um, during my hard time. I was I was sad. I was depressed yesterday, all today, until I had that meeting today with my cadre member. Um, you know, I was I was pretty bummed out. I was pretty bummed out. I like to smile. I like to have a good time. I don't like to be depressed. So let me not say I was depressed. I was just sad because I don't like to say I was depressed. But anyway, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for all the support. I love you guys. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, of course, you can always send me on Snapchat, Instagram, email. I put everything up. I answer everybody. Um, thank you, guys. I just made it to 500 subscribers, too. Um, you guys have a good one. Love you all. Peace.